Hello and welcome to another one of my videos back on Plants vs Zombies Battle for Noobville. Today we are going to be playing Minion Madness, which is the new weekly game mode which includes Wildflower and TV Head Zombie. I'm really excited to play this, I can't wait to see what happens and how the characters work and everything. So I've already played like a tiny bit of it on Wildflower, so I'm hoping to go on to TV Head and hopefully I can get gameplay of both of them. If not, I'll split it up into two separate videos, but yeah. I'm going to load onto it now, it is a turf takeover um, star game mode, so yeah, the video might be a bit longer than usual, but that doesn't matter, so yeah, I'll see you when I am in. Right, we are here, we are playing as a wildflower, so I've already played as wildflower a bit, as you can see I've got um, as a level 7, you can level them up quite quickly, so when you go near people, you get the shield, which is a really cool gimmick, I really like how this works and how it encourages them to you know, swarm to stay together. They are swarm characters, so I really like how it does that and gives them the shield for it. Also, I mean, their main gun, they're pretty much... Oh, God. Yeah, that, that's... um. I'll talk about that. But their main gun is quite good, although obviously with the shield, it does kind of make it a bit worse <laughs> because, yeah, they have the, the shield. Oh, he has a bucket on his head. Oh, God. Yeah. But yeah, so she has... I don't know if it's just she. She or he, just Wildflower in general, they have three abilities. So I can place this one down, and I will respawn here next time I die. A zombie can destroy this as well, so you want to place it in a sneaky position. Then we have the drone, where I can... Oh, I, 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 <laughs> I failed that horribly, but we have this RB ability. I still haven't really worked out what this one does. Like, I place it. Does it do damage? Is that all it does? Is that all it does? I'm not sure, but... Um, as you saw, that person had a bucket on their head, so they have an upgrade called... Um, no fail pale or something, so yeah, and as you see, we res respawned there, so so far these characters seem great, there doesn't seem to be any major bug with them or anything that will break the game as a whole, but right, can we get a double? Oh, we actually did, wow <laughs> but yeah, I like the drones, I would say they're maybe a bit too overpowered but the drones are slightly different, so the dandelion can jump high, but is slower and a bigger target, while Imp can't jump high, but he's quicker and a smaller target, I think. And then Wildflower has more ammo than TV Head Zombie. Wildflower has 35 and TV Head Zombie has 25. So there are a few differences, but overall they're pretty much the same character. I also want to check something. Yeah, look, they're labelled Swarm class, so this is very exciting, getting a new type of character, as well as just a new character in general. Obviously, End of September is when we're getting them. When you think about that, it's not actually that long away, you know. Time will fly by, they always do, so. Yeah, and then hopefully we will get to see the, what's it called, the game mode, not the game mode, but the roadmap after that and see what cool stuff we'll get. Oh god, I'm, I'm not going to be able to kill anyone with this, am I? I'm not. But, yeah, so I will quickly cut ahead into the next round, so yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, we are on Taurus Trap Island. I'm happy that this map is back, and we are here as well playing as the zombies, which is good, because I haven't played um, yeah, zombies as much, I've only gotten to level 3. So yeah, they're pretty much the same character, as you can see, like I said earlier on, TV Head has slightly less ammo, but the abilities are overall the same, like I have this bucket, I can't remember, what's it called? Commercial break, <laughs> like, like I like the pun. So you put it here, and then I'll respawn here next, I probably wasn't the best of places to pull it, but... I'm happy with it. I'm happy we're up this map's back as well. I'm really happy. I like this map quite a lot. It's quite unique. So yeah, overall, I can see these characters working quite well in just normal games. I mean, when they do get released, there's obviously not going to be as many people playing as these characters, but I reckon there is a chance, like, you'd be in groups of, like, four or something. And, wow. Like, that, that drone didn't kill him. Yeah. So the imp... I think the imp actually kind of mixed, like, freezes them as well, which I think might be a bit overpowered, but I'm not sure, maybe maybe they don't. And yeah, when they don't have, sh when the wildflowers don't have shield, they're quite easy to kill. Alright, let's get rid of that quick. Oh no, oh no. Oh god. Yeah, so this wildflower's a bucket on the head. It's crazy to think that some people have already gotten them to, like, this high. Oh, I didn't need to place that. <laughs> I've heard that some people have already gotten them to master, and that's just, I don't know how they do that. I honestly... I'm not. When, I probably will end up getting to level 10 with them, but I'm not going to promote them because I want to save it until I can actually play with them normally. If you get what I mean, because I don't want to end up getting them mastered before they're actually fully released. So 
yeah, when I do that, get them to level 10, I'm not actually going to promote them. Which is probably, I reckon some other people are doing that as well, but the majority probably aren't. So let's place my bucket here. Oh, I can't. Oh yeah, so the bucket has a long reload, which I guess is fair, so. Come on. There we go. No. God. And the shield, I think, can get to a maximum of um, 30? Not 30, what am I about? 60? Which is quite high. I'm not sure why it can't get to 100. I don't know if, like, that just wouldn't work or something, but... Yeah, this is this is fun. I'm enjoying it. I don't sound like I'm enjoying it, but I am enjoying it. I'm just concentrating. Usually we don't play Turf Takeover, so... I'm not sure how to play this. Right, can we place this down? So I think the RB, whatever this is called, the overheated dinner ability is better on TV head than dandelion. And yes, unless I'm using the dandelion one completely wrong, which I very well could be. But it just seems like it's not better. And how quick's the revive? I feel like this is quicker. Is this not quicker? Hmm, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're quicker. I mean, right, so are we going to stay together? I hope we're going to stay together. Oh, nope. And yeah, when you stay near bots and um, like summonables as well, they also give you shield, and I think they get the shield as well. So they're really trying to encourage you to play these characters as swarm and not go solo and play in a play in a team, and you get benefits from it, which I, I really like. It's a new way to play, and with with BFN, I feel like they're doing something that, which they didn't do in Garden Warfare 2 so much, which is like encouraging people to group up, because obviously you have. Acorn, Wizard, and Space Cadet, who are all team-up characters. And now you have these characters, and they all have paperclips on, because you can basically team up with them, if you think about it. So, yeah, I, I, li I like where this, this is going, and I can't wait until they're released. And I hope, like, as much as I'm happy that we're getting new characters, I hope the future ones aren't AI. I know there's something about another AI character, I won't say for spoiler purposes, but I know there is something about another AI character coming soon. And then I'm alright with getting a few, but I just hope we do get some original characters as well. Otherwise, yeah, things would get, end up getting a bit repetitive, as we already would have unlocked them. Oh no, this isn't going to go well for me. Two health? Okay. <laughs> the shield, I'm not sure, like... So does the shield, when it's on like 10% the shield, does that mean it blocks 10% of the damage? Or is, is that how it works, or it takes 10% less damage? I'm not too sure, but I mean... I'm sure it'll work out eventually, because that would have, I think, killed him if that didn't happen, I'm not sure. I mean, the amount of, like, high ranks that are playing this, and also, another thing, I'm pretty sure this is increasing the max rank, because before it was, like, 1891, and I think I've seen some people, yeah, like, 1907, so this is increasing the max rank, so soon the max rank is going to be over 200, which is... Which is really good, I like how the max rent is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, so that there's more to unlock. And I do hope there are custom, like, uh, yeah, customizations for them, like skins. I guess the skins kind of would and wouldn't make sense, because they wouldn't really make sense, because... Well, I guess you can equip them if you want, because you can disguise as one of these characters, I think, like... You could just summon in a ton of these AI and just kind of stand in the middle of them and kind of oh, <laughs> and kind of act like in a disguise if you get what I mean. But if you have a skin, then you will kind of stick out. Although I think skins for these characters would be cool. And another thing, are they going to get legendary upgrades? Like you never know. I mean, they could. It'd be cool if they would. I wonder if they'd get like the same one as a basically the same character. But yeah, let's not see how good they're going to capture. I don't want them to capture. No. Right, can I, how many people can I kill? How many people can I kill? Wow, I, 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 they killed me before. I could do anything. How, how rude. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know if TV heads are just... I don't know if my team's just not sticking together, but I feel like we're not doing as well <laughs> as TV heads. But, alright, we're here. Um... Yeah, I feel like we're not sticking together as much. Like, we're all kind of spread out, but then they're in, like, one massive big group. I'm happy they fixed the water as well. That that desperately needed fixing. Oh, my God, this one's got a bucket on the head, but I still managed to do it. Ha! Oh, God. Yeah, so after this week, I believe there will be a normal weekly game mode, and then the week after that, there will be another... 
game mode including these two characters. And I reckon that game mode will include maybe some heroes as well, so that they can see what it's like with characters like act. What am I saying? <laughs> so, so that we can see what some characters react with each other. Because like wizards will be able to go on these guys' head and we'll be able to see whether that will be overpowered or not. We'll be able to see whether giving engineers like double speed pad thing will make them overpowered if you get what I mean. So to see how they work with the other characters and whether they will need adjusting due to certain abilities and features and stuff. So. It's smart that they're doing this in a weekly game mode. It makes me wonder whether they'll do it for other characters. I don't think they will, because like the other characters are, will be unlocked in a prize map, but these ones I don't think will be in a prize map, so I guess they're slightly different. Oh god. I feel like I'm just not doing as much damage with them. But the drones, they, they might need a bit of tweaking. But there's plenty of time for that to happen. It's not like several months until the... Oh god. No, why would I? Why would I? Uh, I keep <laughs> I keep using the wrong ability and placing down that bucket, but yeah. Well, so this th this roadmap has been probably one of the best ones we've had so far, but the next one I'm hoping will be better. Hopefully, we get another character. I reckon we do have a chance of getting another character, and I feel like it's around time we got a new team vanquish map as well. I feel like yeah, I feel like it's around time we got one. I'm gonna stay with these people. Oh, pardon me, I just burped. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get rid of the drone. Oh my god, the dandelions can jump really high. I guess it makes sense. Oh my god, and they blew up pretty high. Wow. Oh, is this person on their own? Yeah, so when they're on their own, they're really easy to take off. To kill. Wow, that was cheeky. <laughs> Hiding around the corner and then just doing that. I'm not doing that well. I'm not doing that well. I mean, the amount of blue plates that are here. Wow, there is a lot. No one is rank 2000 yet. I'm interested to see like, whether the plate will look different when you're rank 2000. It would be cool if it did, although part of me is feeling that it won't look different, unfortunately, but... Right. Oh wait, are we, are we losing? Oh no. Oh yeah, we are actually losing, but... Oh! We're also lagging, apparently. That's fair. I mean, this was just released today. Oh god. Alright, come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm also looking forward to private play when we get access to these characters and we can do some like custom game modes with these characters and we can basically, when these characters get released, kind of recreate this weekly game mode whenever we want so, because it's it's just TV heads versus wildflowers and we'll be able to simulate that so yeah, the, the amount of features that they're adding in these months, I think they're really good in terms of bugs, I haven't noticed many or any for private play or this so Oh god, let's go well. Oh, I forgot. Oh yeah, I forgot we get rainbow stars for this. And I've got, I've gained, I haven't spent anything in Rux for a long time. So as you can see, I've gained quite a few rainbow stars. So if you have any ideas of what I could do with those, leave it in the comments. I mean, there's only one thing I could do with them, buy skins. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, never mind. Oh god, they can jump so, so far. Oh, that person didn't notice me. No, no. I tried to do a sneaky move where I go in the drone, but that didn't work. So I reckon the drone's damage will be tweaked, maybe nerfed a bit, because it does seem quite overpowered. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. Well, it's been a while since we've been here. I mean, look at this. I forgot I forgot about this, and it's really cool. I, I really like this um, end bit. Sure, the actual like objective we need to defend isn't that great and inventive, but I still love this area. Like, this is definitely probably one of the most detailed and nice looking maps. What am I doing? Oh, am I going to be able to sneakily get this person? Come on. Ha ha. <laughs> Sneaky. Um, is there any way we can get around there? I don't think there is. I can throw this. Whoa. Oh my god. What's buffing them? Why do they have the buff things around them? I'm not sure what's doing that, but I mean, something's doing it. Okay, is this my... Thing? I think that's my bucket. Oh no. Why did I run right into that? Okay, but I survived. Whoa. Oh my god. Ah, oh, so close. But yeah, I feel Turf Takeover was a, a good game mode to test this on because obviously you have capture points and 
payloads and stuff, so people are going to be all running to the same place, which means the whole swarm gimmick will actually take into place. So I reckon the next one, like the next weekly game mode, which involves these two characters, will most likely be, oh god, will most likely be Team Vanquish, to see how they work in there, because I feel in Team Vanquish will be a bit more spread out, so... Yeah, and obviously when we do play, when these characters are like fully released, not everyone's going to be playing as them. So there's not going to be as many as an entire full lobby of them. So, oh my god, I feel like I feel like we're getting swarmed. I I I, I didn't even mean to say swarmed. It just came out my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna say, um, actually no, I'm gonna say swarmed. What am I on? I, I'm I can't speak today. I, <laughs> today is just not my day. So. Yeah, okay, the, the Switch, they're probably going to win, no surprise. I don't think zombies usually win on this map, but that's fine. I'm not sure if this paperclip symbol is meant to be there, because when I go up close to them, it doesn't actually disappear. I feel like that might be a bug. And, oh, that's cool. When he's in the drone, he's, like, messing with the little chip reader. I wonder what the one for the wildfire is. I probably should have looked. I love how all the... Um, Oh, the TV heads are just kind of staying in the same place, just looking at each other. Oh, there we go. I feel like I've only got kills with that ability. <laughs> but we have got a few of some other stuff. Yeah, so when they don't have shield, it's quite easy to kill them as they only have 100 health. Unless they have the bucket or the pot upgrade. Which I feel, I still think is really cool, how, how an upgrade actually changes the looks of them. And you can visually see it, so you know that this person right here has the upgrade. So yeah, I think that's a really, a really cool feature. They've, they've done well. The only bad thing about this, I would say, is just the fact that they are obviously just completely stripped from the AI. It would have been kind of, it would have been nice if they maybe tweaked them just to look a bit more, a bit more lively and not just exactly like the AI. But I guess now it makes a bit more sense as they are swarm characters, so you know, they're meant to look like their summonable counterpart, so I'm not too fussed about it, to be honest. I'm I'm happy with these abilities and everything. I feel like they've they have done very well with this and like I said, haven't really noticed many many glitches. Hello. Oh wow. That guy survived that? Okay, wow. I'm not sure. Wow. <laughs> that bucket must give them quite a lot of health. I thought it only gave them twenty five. But I guess they predict the shield as well, so yeah, that makes sense. We actually might win this. I don't know that the switch is turning. It took me ages to work out like what this actual end game mode is. I was just kind of running about with this like bit in the middle, moving left and right. But, come on! Oh, this person doesn't have a shield. Never mind. I, I just jinxed it, and that thing's coming towards us. We don't want that. Nope. Get rid of. Okay. Well, they're gone. I want to try reviving them. Yeah, so if I believe if I go next to this bot, the bot will give me... Yeah, the bot gives me shield. And I think I'm giving the shield to the bot as well. Which is cool. So again, it's encouraging people to spawn stuff as well as stick, like, with their spawns. So, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm happy with this. <laughs> oh, right. Does this person have shield? No, they don't. What? What was that? That must be an upgrade, where, like, that red thing appears around them. That must be. Because earlier on, that pe pers people, the wildflowers were getting buffed. So it must have been by that. Hmm. Why? Is that? That must be an upgrade. Unless an ability gives that effect of, like, buffing nearby allies. That's interesting. Another buffable, another character who can buff enemies. Not enemies. That would that'd be stupid. But buffing allies. Oh, okay. Oh, we, we lost. But anyway, so yeah, I'll probably do a few more videos on this. Maybe just one more, like playing as Wildflower more, because we only really played Wildflower at the beginning. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly did. And yeah, I will see you next time. <laughs> look, look at all those TV zombies just floating away. Anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.